Allen Tigercats travel to Toronto on Friday to take on the Toronto Argonauts. I'm here with the spec Steve Milton. Steve, the Argos have won four straight all on the road, a CFL record. Uh, lead the division, uh, can clinch uh, the first place in the East. All kinds of good things happening in Toronto. How have they done it? Well, it's funny because I think there's a, been a franchise DNA reversal on this team. For 90 years, the Argonauts were a team that had it in spades, all the good players, all the money, all the fans, and didn't win. Now, it's almost reverse. Every time they seem to run into some kind of, of, of horrific thing happening to them, dating back to, to when uh, they went bankrupt the same year that Cats did. So for the past decade, it, ever, it seems whenever they have adversity, they respond even stronger. And, and I think you could, you could have seen that last year. They rebuilt the team, uh, as, as Hamilton was trying to do, yet it was they that won the Great Cup. Um, I think this is a much better team than we, uh, than we have given them credit for. We looked at them last year and said, well, their receiving core isn't good enough. Their offensive line isn't good enough. And then we had to reassess at the end of the Grey Cup. Then they lose part of their defense, some of whom came to Hamilton, and they had to rebuild their defense this year. Now they win four in a row. And they're not just an, East, an Eastern elite team. They are an elite team in this league. I'll, they're neck and neck with Calgary uh, for the best team in this league, and they beat Calgary, I think. And so, so I, I would say right now the Toronto Argonauts are the best team in this league. Ticats are at 6-7, and seven, uh, fell back from 500 with the loss last week against uh, Calgary. Um, this team has been difficult to figure out. Where are they at this point in the season? They can't make that linear progress that, that uh, Ken Austin says really doesn't exist, but you'd like to see the inc every time they run into, into it looks like they're, they're, they're going to be uh, making that progress, they run into some injuries again. They've got, to, uh, they've got to shore up. They've got to make sure that the defense is consistent. A lot of people blame the defense, but I, I really think this offense is in a slump right now, and they really need to come up big on Friday night because... Um, you know, you have another game in which in which you're not running on all cylinders, and and I understand that they they have some injuries there. They have two at tackle, two at end, and two at uh, two at uh, that, that's 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 tight end, and then and two and have had a couple at running back too. So I I understand that there's problems there, but they've got to make a they've got to establish themselves and get into a rhythm for the final four or five games of the season. Brandon Banks uh, well, looks to be the punt returner. Uh, he's the punt returner du jour. There have been a bunch of them. Uh, we saw him at practice this week, just a, a tiny little guy, uh, but I think has... Can he be the explosive guy that Ticats are looking for? Yeah, that, uh, sure he can. And I think any, quite a few of the others could have been too, whether it was Moore or... or uh, uh, Kendall, Lamar, Lawrence. Uh, Kendall Lawrence and, and, and back to Lindsay Lamar and Lamar showed it but there's been a con one consistent thing with most of them Drew and that's that early in their punt returning career with the Tiger Cats they fumbled and I think that's really had a psychological effect on almost all of them and I think that's what he's got to watch out against against the Argonauts if he can hang on to the ball that's why Andre Jones was back there just to make sure at least they start with the ball because field position against a team that's an opportunistic team and there's no doubt that the Argonauts are an opportunistic team they take advantage of whatever you, you you give them especially in the second half uh, so don't be fumbling the football make sure you check out Friday Spectator for a full game preview as, long, as well as Steve's column reporting from Toronto with the Spec Steve Milton I'm Drew Edwards